Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com, LearningToMix.com, and here on my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you a quick fix to having either latency issues when recording in Studio One or having noise artifacts, crackles and pops when you're listening back to your recorded audio. I get asked about this at least twice a week and I wanted to create a quick video so I can just refer people to this video. This fixes 95% of the problem. So we're going to take a look at that in a second. But before we get to that, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. Also, go out to facebook.com slash home recording made easy and follow me there and if you want more tips tricks concepts and training around all aspects of home recording mixing and mastering please go to home recording made easy.com check out all the training courses i have there there's a ton of free content there as well and if you want premium mixing training um, and join a community of like-minded individuals who are all trying to get better at the craft of mixing follow me over at learning to mix.com you'll really dig that site as well okay so now let's jump into studio one and let's take a look at this simple fix so i get asked about this at least twice a week as i said so regardless of the version of studio one that you're using there are two issues that tend to come up with new users one they're trying to record their tracks into studio one and they're getting some latency or a delay from the time that let's say they're playing a guitar to the time it comes back through Studio One and they hear it in the headphones, which makes it almost impossible to play. So they're getting a latency or a delay issue from the time they play to the time they hear it back. Or when they're done recording their tracks and they're going to mix and they're using lots of VST instrument and plugins, stock or third party, they're hearing during playback some crackles and pops and some noise artifacts. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So on a Mac now, I'm doing this on a Mac. Windows is a little bit different, but let me show you how to do it on a Mac. On a Mac, you're gonna go up to uh, here to the Studio One menu, okay? And you're gonna to go to the Preferences window. You're now gonna get a dialog box, your preferences dialog box, and you're gonna go over to the audio setup tab. Okay, and underneath that, you're gonna see two tabs, audio device and processing. We wanna be on the audio device. You're gonna see your playback device, which should be your audio interface. Mine's a Studio Live 32. The setting you wanna pay attention to is this device block size. Right now you see it's set to 2048 samples. If you click this little down arrow, you're gonna see a bunch of different sample choices. Now, depending on your audio interface and your computer, these are gonna look a little different, have no fear. Here's a general rule of thumb that makes it really easy. When you're recording, okay, during recording you wanna set this sample size uh, as, as high as you can without getting that latency. Okay, so in other words, you want to start off at right around, say, 128 or 256 samples. Try to do some recording. If you're getting some latency issues or some delay, you're going to lower it a little bit. That will solve that problem. Okay, when you are mixing after you're done recording and you're playing back your tracks and you're adding plugins and MIDI instruments and VSTs and all of that stuff, you're going to set this as high as you higher. You're going to set it to the highest setting. Or in that, what that's going to do is it's going to free up a bunch of CPU resources and stuff. I'm not going to get into the technical aspect because most people don't care about that. They just want the problem to go away. You're going to set this to the highest setting. That's going to reduce any of those crackles and pops and noise artifacts. If you set this to the highest setting and you're still getting those kind of noise artifacts, then you may, it'll then email me and we'll, we'll go through it together. But typically what that means is you may be using a very old computer, maybe one that's five, 10 years old, and you just don't have the processor speed to be able to do what you want to do in Studio One. You got to remember that these recording programs, all these DAWs and all these VST instruments, especially software instruments like, um, you know, MIDI instruments, take a lot of CPU resources. So if you're running like a dual core or something with only say eight gigs of, uh, of memory or something like that, you're gonna have these kinds of problems if you try to load up a bunch of plugins and a bunch of VST instruments. Okay, you're gonna want at least a minimum of 16 gigs of RAM and you're gonna want at least a quad core. Now again, every computer is a little different and I can't speak to every situation, but if you just follow this rule of thumb, recording, set the sample size lower, mixing, set it higher, that solves about 95% of the problems. Okay, so if you just click uh, the highest setting here, if I'm mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 4096, so I'm gonna hit okay, and then you're all, all set to go. You don't need to restart the program or reload the session. Okay, so try that, and if that still doesn't fix your problem, you can email me directly through my website, homerecordingmadeeasy.com, go to the contact page, and I'll try to help you even further. So I hope that video was helpful. Again, if you like what you saw in this video, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about Home Recording Made Easy and this channel, and once again, head on over to learningtomix.com and check out what I have going on over there. It will absolutely help you be a better mixing engineer, um, and I urge you to go check that out and then lastly once again homerecordingmadeeasy.com i've been david vignola and i will see you guys in the next video take care